on these warm-up laps, I was trying to remember the track and get a feel for the bike, the tyres, the brakes, and most importantly, set a base time. Right, just in from the first run. So the only way to find out our times is to look at GoPros. Um, we're not allowed to time it on a stopwatch or anything, so I've got GoPros all over the bike, watching the speedo, watching the front, watching the back. Um, so, let's see what the time is. Right, so we're gonna have to go, when I cross the line, start the timer and then round a lap and then I'll stop the timer. So then way we can do it. Stop. Oh. What time do you think, yeah? Mm, two minutes six. Two minutes fifteen. That's the first time out. Bear in mind, still warming, the breaking the tyres in, warming up, getting used to the track again. Right, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Just, just, shh, shh. Put on the world's wettest glove. I've literally done nothing but sweat all day. Don't blink, yeah? You might miss me. So with that, it's time for myself and Zoe to get back on the track. Determined to get back under two minutes and show Zoe that I'm the fastest rider on the track, I put the hammer down. First couple of laps were doing great, but then my front brakes failed. And then it was time to head back in and find out where I went wrong. What's the verdict, Storm? So verdict is you scared me, Ed. You scared me. I'm that fast. I scared you. Is that what you're saying? Um. <laughs> right, he's giving me a bit of money. Yeah, you scared me. You scared me. Yeah, yeah. How fast you were. It, it, yeah. it was beyond me. I've never seen anything like it. So, so what's your and advice? I'll be honest, your, your strong advice, points are, your strong points are, you are very good on the brakes. Very good. You actually, you did really scare me a few times how you go into corners. And I didn't think you were going to make the corner. And you did. Yeah, yeah. Fair play, you made the so corner. So you say I'm too harsh on the brakes? Definitely. Well, that probably makes hard. sense as to why my so front when brakes I, when, completely when, gone. When I watch you jump on the brakes, I'm actually watching your world's strongest man lift and I'm watching you go, yeah, yeah. That's what you're doing when you grab the brakes. Uh -huh. Exactly the same thing. You've got to be gentle with these feet. So you're saying brake a bit earlier? Brake a bit into... earlier, a bit smoother, settle the bike out. The more you unsettle that bike, it's not going to want to do what you wanted to do with it. Right, well, brake, who's gone brake. faster around here? Oh, I think, you know, if I was your weight. Who's <laughs> your weight? So right, at the end of that straight there, I was doing what, 150 mile an hour. So there's no break whatsoever. It's literally back to back to the bar. There was nothing. Yeah, but it went from it went from having brakes to literally like a jolt to not having brakes. The way I'm breaking yeah. is that not my body weight. You're asking for too much, trail way too much. Trail break it, trail break it, feed it in. You know, yeah, like yeah, saying yeah. like, uh, if you go yeah. slow it, slow in, yeah. fast out. So as you slow it down from the corner, yeah. and then as you're coming out the corner, you pick the bike up. I was overtaking everyone on the corners. <laughs> yeah. I was breaking so late. <laughs> yeah. But it can't there. last. No. Well, evidently it can't get the lads to come bleed up. Yeah. Yeah. We just got to be gentle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mate, I didn't punch went there, honestly. I think I have shit myself. Thanks for f***ing storm, that's really yeah. nice. Thanks for ruining my day, Ed. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> There's my takeaway from this. A bit early on the brakes and a bit later on the acceleration. So I, I am, as I'm turning, if I see an opportunity to rev it and give it some gas, I am doing which is probably taking me off the line and slowing my straight up, so. And with that, it was time to get back out on the track.
tracks. As the uh, data said, we've got down to a 202, so we're going in the right direction. Oh, 202. And that's with less braking. The storm was right. I better go uh, find Storm and owe an apology. So I owe you an apology, Storm. Yeah. Two minutes, two seconds. You've gone fast. With, with less braking. It's yeah. almost like I'm doing it for a minute. Almost as if you knew what you were talking about. Yeah. Almost. Like I had a little bit of idea. Thank you, man. It's great. Right. It's good. Good advice. It's good. Now, how do I get on two minutes? What do, what do we need so to do? So, what are you at now? Two minutes, two. Just keep working on what you're doing. Just keep working on what you're doing. Work on slowing it down more. Yeah. Like you are, you're slowing Just it relax down. Into it more. Relax it. Get it turned. Try yeah. and get that bike turned faster. Lean into it a bit more. Get it turned. The sooner you get on that gas yeah. and consistently keep that gas on, going out the corner, yeah. that's where your time will come because your bike's got a lot of power. You've got to use all the power. Okay. We're on it. It's all, it's all in here now. It's burnt into my brain, that has. 159, here we now come. You've seen the proof, now you've got to yeah, believe it in the coming. That's it, that's it, it's coming. So this is it, my last chance to try and get a sub two minute time. Throughout the lap, so I was trying my best to remember all the tips from Storm, Jordan, and Zoe. But was it enough? Did I manage to beat two minutes? Got to have gone faster then. Got to have. Felt solid. I'm fried. Literally, mentally and physically fried. It's hard work. That was definitely faster. So, go on, Jordan. Time is one. 58.8. Boom. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> good man. Oh, that's good. Good man.